Hello everybody, it's Eva from The Bit Tiger here again. Uh, today I would like to share with you my first design team uh, project ever. I'm so excited, also I'm so scared. Uh, I am designer for Max Garden uh, shop. She has amazing online shop uh, which is based in Australia. Here are all information, so I'm gonna zoom it a little bit. Here are all information if you will want to have a look on her uh, in her shop and go to buy some stuff. And I'm going to show you which which papers and places I used in my project. I'm gonna zoom it a little bit again. I used uh, it's called. Chantilly cream, I hope I, I said said that right. Uh, that's amazing paper collection which I used for this project. It's this name, Chantilly cream. Those are um, die cuts? No die cuts. This sheet is full of amazing, amazing images which you have to cut out or fussy cut out. All those images are in this beautiful collection and I used those four designs for my project. This polka dots, those stripes and it's be in beautiful cream like coffee, coffee, uh, white coffee uh, or uh, yeah, white coffee color and it's beautiful, really beautiful collection. Here. Hmm, where we've got here I used number five of this collection this is that polka polka dots it's number one then I used those stripes sorry for this it's number four and number six I used for this my first project and because those papers are Amazing, they are so soft and romantic and uh, when I took them to my hands, I, I felt that uh, I can't do anything else, just uh, make something with love. And because it was included, those beautiful laces, I really love this one. It's just amazing. It's keeping, it's keeping this shape all the time, so it's perfect for mixed media. And it's beautiful and it's so soft. And then this one, this lace or a ribbon, it's perfect for some moving, uh, for some moving um, pages, movable pages, because it's keeping, again, it's keeping this shape. It's not curved. Uh, when you bend it and. When you put it back, it's not curved. I'm sorry, I can't explain what I mean, but I hope I hope you will understand what I mean. And this beautiful flower lace, look at this. And it's really amazing. I'm sorry for my camera, or for me. <laughs> I use it in this collection as well, uh, in my project as well. And I used this beautiful lace, this one, because it's elastic. And it's really amazing. <laughs> it's a little bit remind me Moulin Rouge with that can can dance. You know, those strips. It's really beautiful. So I made wedding planner. And I made wedding planner which can be uh, used also like a uh, mobile case. It's a little bit same project which I made for myself, for my traveling but this one it's much more romantic I hope it's romantic I try to do romantic style uh, even I'm, I'm not too, <laughs> too much a romantic person here is holder for my camera I'm sorry I can't put there my camera now because my camera is now working it's here <laughs> so here's supposed to be my camera and I make a hole so I can use my camera uh, for taking photo even if is it in this from this side I made, I put there just piece of gear and I made it 
just a little bit like steampunk and it can be again stunned with that camera it's heaviest so it's keeping shape you know it can be watch some movie while standing sorry it's like this but without the camera it's not too heavy and here is my planner this is my wedding planner let's keep it in this in this shape with this belly band I just put that first page of my wedding planner inside and it's keeping there I th oops sorry sorry I think I have to zoom it again a little bit it's keeping inside just slide it under including that first page so I can carry it whoops all the time with me with my mobile so it's keeping this way inside and under this wedding planner oops come on oh under this wedding planner it's kind of first aid <laughs> for <a> bright <laughs> it's small drawer I don't have anything inside yet here you can see that beautiful paper from Mix Garden. This is that strip paper, and this one was was in that paper sheet with was all those die cuts, and it's really beautiful. It's French style, and it's really amazing. Oops, sorry, I forgot to show you. Here is drawer. Which when is it open? So here can be. Uh, Mascara or bars of chocolate. I think all all brides need sometimes a bit of sugar for their nerves. Here can be pen. Uh, here can be oh, how says it English? Lip lipstick. <laughs> I'm horrible. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and here you can slide some photo behind, so you can keep your honey all the time with you. So this is my first eye for right. Here I put small metal piece um, charm. Live, love, love, love. I'm always struggling with those two. Love and love? Probably. <laughs> I hope you understand or you can read it. <laughs> so this is basic. It's cover for my wedding planner and now I'm going to show you my wedding planner I think many of you know this beautiful couple from amazing movie which I totally forgot name of that movie <laughs> I'm so sorry this die which I used it's I show you last time when we cut those sides it's this Sizzix jar labels and it's this die under the beautiful picture. Uh, again, I used acetate. I like to use them. They are fresh in any any project. Uh, and I separate uh, my. Um, what is it? Oh my! I forgot how to say that. Those. Oh my! My brain is lost somewhere. <gasps> I'm using it every single time in Jung Jung journeys that your diary or journal <gasps> signatures. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've been a little bit lost myself. <gasps> I've got, I think, eight signatures. Nine sig signatures you uh, include... This signature, it's not pro oh, it's not signature, it's just a piece of paper for uh, business cards. You can slide business cards behind those pockets. Oops. So you can keep all information about flourishman or about the restaurant where you will want to have celebration all the time with you. So this is my last kind of signature. And I separate signatures by time before wedding it's 12 months before wedding let's look like this one here I used that number 
Number five, I think. Yes, this paper, number five. It's really beautiful because it has this lovely ornament on it. So you don't have to put there too much. Here you can see that flower lace and here you can see that white, which is brilliant for mixed media. Uh, I add few my laces. Uh, this is Italian wallpaper, which I used also on cover. I've got book of samples. It was great idea from Pativ, who is NW, NW Lady 1949. She used uh, samples of wallpapers for her muscling cards. And I remember this video really well because I, I felt in love with all those cards. So I found I found shop where they got these samples and I asked them and uh, thank you Patty, it was a brilliant idea. They gave me all that book for free. <laughs> Those, those full papers are amazing. So thank you so much for that idea. And I tried to do it a little bit in steampunk, but romantic as well. I hope I, I made it. I used vintage photos of wedding with brides and groom. Here you can see. Yeah, oh, man. What we've got here. So nice and shiny when outside is rain. I don't understand. Hopefully now you can see that. Here is that number five of Chantilly Cream. Uh, yeah, here, Chantilly Cream, <laughs> Cream Collection. I'm gonna zoom it again. No, I'm not. And here I include some information for brides. What they supposed to do 12 months before wedding. Here I include few ideas about decorations in your wedding. Here is eight till ten months before wedding oh now we are so dark and it's not storm outside see how crazy is it so here is it eight and ten months before wedding here i used that uh, polka dots paper and it's really beautiful i used a few of my stamps and i put just a little bit of modeling texture. This is from my stuff, this lace. Here again, a number five. I love this paper. This is so French style, so romantic. Look at that. It's just amazing. It's really, really beautiful. And again, some information for brides, what they supposed to plan now. Here is six till eight months before before wedding, no, before Christmas, <laughs> before wedding. Uh, here I made my own washi tape. <laughs> I stamped a little bit that uh, masking tape and I put it here. So this is, and here I use that strip paper from, from a Max collection. And I really like all those colors. It's so soft. Here you can see it's very soft writing there and it's in French. And when you will concentrate on that, it's readable, it's amazing. Here is a piece of her uh, die cuts, fussy cutting sheet. I'm not sure how to say that, I'm so sorry. I always watching uh, videos when you explain in English all those things and I'm trying to to remember that but when I'm thinking my video I'm so scared <laughs> and then my my brain is lost somewhere so I'm sorry I hope you know what I mean I hope you understand here is uh, four till six months before before wedding and here I used a uh, few gears and again this uh, metal filigree it was basic for making your own ring. I just flat it down again. So this is four till six months. And here I used again that polka, polka dots paper. I really love this paper. And here you can see a little bit more with that French calligraphy. It's really beautiful. It's amazing. Here I use a piece of my acetate and I stamp it. And it's like bright and groom. 
I know they are butterflies, but you know, it's like bright and groom. And it's a little bit steampunk as well. And again, few papers with wedding ideas. Here is two to three months. And here I use that strip paper. I sprayed a little bit and I used a few uh, scrap of my dice. And this uh, put those tags under your your photo. This idea I took from Heather Jacob, uh, which is using in her uh, layouts all the time, and I really love her work. So I I took this idea from her. This is again my lace, which I used in this project. Here, uh, I fussy cut in a little bit, and I use glossy accent on this beautiful butterfly from that chantilly cream it's from this or from that from this one <laughs> sorry from this piece of paper here you've got that botanical stamp which i've got on that page before and this butterfly i've been fussy cutting and i use it here and i put a little bit glossy accent on it and it's nice and steady and here again some informations and this paper I think it's got number four if I'm right oh no it's number six no I'm a little bit lost it's number six I'm guessing number six probably oh, I hope I'm not confusing you too much again few ideas about wedding how you can decorate. Here is one month before your wedding. And again, I used polka dots sheet. And I used a few of my stamps. And here, my washi tape. And a few small flowers. And here I used that number five under. You can see a piece of that beautiful ornament and uh, I stamped piece of acetate with this beautiful steampunk stamp love is in the air and here again a few informations for brides here is a piece of book sheet book page which I've got from from uh, Sunday market Maybe it will be better if I will put it down. Yes, I'm sorry for that. Oh, mine. I'm so sorry for that. Probably it will be better. No. Oh, mine. <laughs> and it's rain outside. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm totally confused. I purchased book. It was for 20p, which <laughs> I was totally surprised. I purchased on the Sunday market this beautiful book. It's full of costumes. Look at that. It's an amazing book. It's like a miracle. <laughs> it was very expensive. 20p. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I just understand why people sell this stuff so so cheap. But it's good for me. I, I like to buy it, you know. And here I used this beautiful lace again. I have to go buy this this lace. It's really amazing. It's so soft under your photos or on your project, but it's sturdy and it's Perfect for for those uh, for that mixed media stuff. And here again some photo piece of acetate, few textures with my modeling paste. This is a week before wedding. Here you can see beautiful image from Max Chantilly Cream Collection, and here again. That French, I'm sorry for for this shine. I'm so glad when when it's outside the sun, but right now is there the rain, and my videos start to be very weird. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Next time we will move to cellar. <laughs> it's very dark there. So this Chantilly cream collection. It's a beautiful fussy cutting, beautiful fussy cutting sheet. <laughs> Oh mine. Sorry Mac, I'm I, I know I'm mumbling, but I hope that, that you will understand all of you here again. Ugh. 
And I think... Oh... <gasps> Yay! I think... Yes, here I made mistake. I put it upside down. Beautiful. Yes, I put it upside down. See what can be happen. Oh my. So we will jump forward. <laughs> here is day before. This is day before wedding. And again, vintage uh, vintage love picture. Few gears. Here is a stamp, uh, it's La Blanche stamp and under that that picture is the rest. And I used few uh, those stones. Pearls, it's not pearl. You know, self self adhesive stones. I used few of them in this you can see that now on this page. And here I used again that polka dot, you can see that now, that polka dot sheet. I think it's my favorite, that polka dot and that number five with that uh, French writing, with that French calligraphy. Those two sheets are totally my favorites here, you can see. Yeah, it's that French calligraphy, French, beautiful writing it's amazing it's so soft so romantic here is piece of that oh, sheet with images oh my i'm so sorry for my explanation <laughs> i'm so sorry and i promise i try to remember that i i've been watching so many patis videos when she's explaining everything and I, I was thinking I'm gonna remember that I'm gonna remember that definitely yes and now you can see so this is my wedding plan and I hope that you like it I hope you understood <laughs> what I'm saying <laughs> I'm so glad uh, I have a chance to to make this this wedding planner and I hope that uh, you will decide to go have a look to Max Garden shop and go to find there some paper collection which you will like because oh, when I've been watching her, uh, when I've been visiting her her shop, I already purchased one collection which totally amazed me. It's called uh, Sherlock Holmes by Watson, I think it's name of that collection. I know I saw video from Patty, she made Jung Junul. And from Heather Jacob, she made artistic journal, and I have to say, both of those journals was totally amazing. Those papers are so vintage and so gorgeous, like this collection. It's so soft, romantic, and French, and uh, so nice. So I hope you will decide to go there and have a look and shop in. And the uh, good point is, even you are living. Uh, far far away from Australia you can also purchase like I did in digital uh, digital 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 images I'm sorry <laughs> and you can download them to your computer and print them off yourself so it's a great point that you you don't have to pay for shipping because as we know shipping is most of the time uh, very expensive and those papers totally totally belong to some romantic now to valentine projects because they are so soft i hope you like my project uh, and i was totally enjoy it <laughs> it was probably after a very long time it was probably my first romantic project i know it's uh, mixed with steampunk again i, I think i can do proper shabby chic or proper romantic without without piece of steampunk i hope you like it sorry for my mumlin sorry for my english i believe you understood what i said thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye